Hi, all viewers at home. My name is Ms. Vicky Yaglaye, and I'm so happy to be with you at this moment to present to you the series of sessions, sound sessions, which is at P5 level. Okay. And a special hi to all the students at home. I know you miss school, so I hope we enjoy our journey to, together as we explore the topics, okay? So today we are going to learn about uh, the process of uh, breathing. Yeah, so let us look a little bit of the objective of the session. In this session, you will learn about breathing, the process of breathing in, can call it inhale, the process of breathing out, exhale. Okay, so what is breathing? So together we're going to engage in a small activity. Okay, I want you to take some time and jump as fast as you can. Okay, I'll give you some time for that. Jump, continue to jump, 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 jump. jump. Okay, now put your hands on your chest for a while, okay? Take some time after that and observe what is happening to your chest. Okay, now if you care to tell me or the person next to you or at home, what have you observed? I'm very sure you are observing something. Yeah? So, you must have observed your chest moving in and out. You had also observed that air is continuously moving in and out from your nose or mouth, okay? So if that's true, maybe you won't believe it, you were actually breathing, okay? It's amazing, no? <laughs> okay, so breathing. Breathing is known as simply the process of moving air into and out of the lungs. This facilitates gaseous exchange with the internal environment, which is of course the lungs. Okay? We breathe in oxygen, meaning we inhale. We breathe out carbon dioxide, meaning we exhale. Okay, now, what really happens when we breathe in and breathe out? Or we call, call it inhale or exhale okay so i want you to have a closer look at the diagram below okay i want you to study it carefully as i go through it okay so there's breathing when you're breathing your chest expands meaning it moves outward together with the ribs as well. This is when, when, when you were jumping, you felt your, your chest grow all of a sudden, okay? But your diagram contrasts, go down, okay? However, when you breathe out, you take out the air from your body, your chest contrasts, yeah? And so the lungs as well. However, the diaphragm, it relaxes. Okay, so it helps to remove the air out of your body, no more air of your body. So this process continues as you breathe in and out. Okay? So similarly, another way of seeing it, the lungs expand and contract in the process to change just in pressure inside the chest cap. Uh, cavity. So another way of saying breathing, we can call it uh, inhalation. Okay, and another way of calling breathe out, we can call it exhalation. All right. So as you can see, the diaphragm goes down when we inhale, and the diaphragm goes up when we exhale. 
Okay? Now, I will give you a little assignment. If you can, if you have the materials, and if you have the person to help you, okay? So what you can do at home, you can build your own breathing model. This will show what happens when we breathe in and what happens when we breathe out, okay? So the materials you will need are as follows. Two recycled dispenser bottles, two plastic bags, two thick rubber band, two drinking, drinking straws, masking tape, modeling clay, two balloons, and scissors, okay? And of course, ensure you have an adult to help you, please. Okay, so what I want you to do is try this at home, okay? Use the diagram to help you. And at the end, you should, help, you should be coming with something like this, okay? And I wish you all the best. Surprise your teachers when you come back to school with this breathing model, if you can, okay? All right, so uh, some other little bit of what we've uh, been discussing here. I want you to enjoy this short video, okay, for some time. The human respiratory system exchanges oxygen from the air for carbon dioxide produced by the body. The center of the system is the lungs, two elastic cone-shaped sacs that nearly fill the chest cavity. The actual mechanism where the gas exchange occurs is the alveoli, a tiny cluster of air sacs. When we inhale through our nose and mouth, air passes through the trachea and infiltrates the lungs through a network of tubes whose branches become finer and finer until they reach the clusters of alveoli. The alveoli are surrounded by capillaries, minute blood vessels that allow the blood to absorb oxygen. These capillaries also allow the blood to release its carbon dioxide, which is then exhaled. Breathing is accomplished with the diaphragm, a strong muscle under the lungs. During inhalation, the diaphragm and rib cage expand the chest cavity, causing the lungs to suck in air with fresh oxygen. During exhalation, the diaphragm relaxes, compressing the lungs to force out the air with waste carbon dioxide. Okay, so I hope you, you enjoyed the video as much as I have, I, ha I have, okay? So we're going to conclude uh, this session for today. I want you to close your eyes and remember what you have learned so far. Okay, and I will guide you through this process. So first of all, we have seen that breathing is known as simply the process of moving air into and out of the lungs. This facilitates gaseous exchange with the internal environment, which is our lungs, okay? Remember, we breathe in oxygen, and this process is called inhale, okay? And we breathe out carbon dioxide, you can call this process also exhale. Okay? So I just wanna thank you so much for being part uh, of this session for your participation, okay? Um, I want you to take great care and uh, be safe as you stay at home. Thank you.